telescope. It's a light. Oh, there's two stars. Pretty moon. Oh, look at that. There goes the school bus. Yeah. yeah. What's that white stuff? What's um, that white? That's just a jet stream from an uh, airliner. Yeah. So you guys want to take the monster truck today? What? You want to take the monster truck? Yeah. It's chilly out here. It's 55 degrees. So we got our little Minecraft jackets on today. We are in line to get dropped off from school. Today is Taco Tuesday. Is that how you can eat tacos? Okay. No, or Casey, is it Tennis Shoe Tuesday? Tennis Shoe Tuesday. Am I wearing tennis shoes? You are wearing Michael Jordans today. What? <laughs> Where's the bottom of them look like? I remember I had the Jordans. My first Jordans ever, those just have a jump, man. But my first Jordans ever were the, uh, man, what was the number? It kind of looks like They had the Chinese, no, it was 23. They had the Chinese writing and like all the cool different stuff on the sole. But I wore them out so quickly. I walked to school every day, like a mile and a half. And I dribbled a basketball every day. I was cut from my um, seventh grade junior high basketball team. I never dribbled a basketball or anything, but I was tall and I, I liked playing, but like shot the ball with two hands and just wasn't really ever taught. Um, didn't have my dad around, wasn't taught how to shoot. And uh, so I was frustrated because I wanted to be, I was down, I wanted to be on the basketball team. So I dribbled a basketball to school every day. And then uh, eighth grade, I um, got on my team in Northern California because I moved with my dad and we won the whole uh, state for our whatever, junior high. It was pretty cool. So I was the center and we were way better. And then I played varsity um, as a sophomore in high school. I played JV as a freshman. Little stuff about me, but I dribbled a ball every day. I dribbled a basketball every day to school to get my coordination, switch, switching hands. And then I learned to shoot. And I wasn't a good, as great a shooter as my brother. My brother was a great three-point shooter. But uh, <laughs> I was pretty good. It's a head for sure. I had a good post move and fade away. But yeah, these guys are creepers. Two creepers. <laughs> and we're going to school. We're in this. We're in the line yeah, waiting. And he is doing this. That's <laughs> just stinky. This school line waiting, but we have a pretty sun sunrise coming. No. Right, it's Tuesday, shooting. guys. So three more days after today, why and then the, you get the weekend. And why do the clouds look like that? Well, they're just pretty because the sun is starting to come up, and there's that a lot of dust strong. in the atmosphere, and <laughs> the sun is shining through that uh, dust. Is that a plane? Is that a plane? That's a jet stream. Yeah, from a plane that went by. That long line right there. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, you guys, ready? Backpacks on. Mm -hmm. Seatbelts off. I, I don't know why I should Fucking kiss. Uh, bye bye. All right, wait a second. Jacket? We're not done yet. We're gonna wait for the next person in line. Can you do what? Can, can I take off my jacket? Uh, why don't you take it off when you get into class? Uh, or you can take it off now if you want. You can leave it in the truck. Yeah, because I don't want to be like bursting hot. Okay. Because last time I did that. You just kept it on all day. No, I had the. No, I would either put it in my backpack okay. or I would just leave it on. Okay. I'll take it off. Mine too. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. Got it, buddy? Yep. Have fun, guys. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> and they go. That's Casey's little playground right there. Cash is last year. All right. So let's check out Truck Smarter this morning. Right there in the middle, you'll see the icon. Great app. Um, there's an invite code down in the description. Let's check what we got today. Uh, New Jersey, Oklahoma. And it's 8 a.m. right now. One thing I could teach you guys about booking loads, don't worry. Don't expect anything new until about 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, I think we got that... Uh, David has been up for the last week. Uh, Pensacola area, there's not really anything coming out of there. There's some chemicals and stuff, but for dry van, it's not a great market. Um, but I have gone down there before and gotten something out, but not the best. I've sometimes I had to deadhead towards uh, Alabama. Uh, a little offer on that one. $27.50. That one's been up for the um, last couple weeks also. They're just trying to move them. That's a Walmart load. Same couple I've taken. But yeah, 8 a.m. Eastern time is when they start getting on the boards, uh, making it happen. And then uh, 3, 4 p.m. Eastern time is when they stop. Kind of, There's some that have 24-7 service, but a lot of them, the brokers are done for the day by 3 or 4 o'clock. 
that live on the East Coast. Out to Houston, 1800. Eh. It's not bad, but there's not really much coming back this way. There's Dalton. That's way light. That should be at least 1200 bucks going up there to Chattanooga. There's a little bit of an incline on 75 and a lot of traffic in Atlanta. This one's at the deadhead up north a little bit. Not bad. Like I went up there last week, I think. Picked up a load. But, uh, going to Tampa. We'll see if they counter offer that. Got some new batteries coming for these motorcycles. T-Dubs hates them, but they're going to be too big to ride them soon, so I got some more rechargeable batteries. <laughs> and they uh, cleaned up that room a little bit yesterday. Got those rugs and gave them away to, to someone in the neighborhood. Uh, I think they're still in the garage, though. they got to pick them up. But, yeah, that is the loads for today, and we're getting kind of far on deadhead now. So uh, at like by 8.30, the loads will start popping up, and then the loads they need to move start popping up around noon. Okay, so those are the loads for today. We'll see what else pops up. Got our coffee going. This uh, coffee machine's pretty cool. We use it more than this one that she got, which I don't know if it's even powered on. Yeah, it still works. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to turn you on. But uh, it's cool because like when you pop this open, it releases a little pod thing, kind of like and like shoots it back. Well, normally, there you go. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know uh, where she got that. I think Amazon or something, but. All right, let's look for some loads and Bristol babies on Saturday, right? So, maybe we'll hit the lake, maybe we'll uh, hit the race, I don't know, but the nice hot weather definitely makes it nicer to sit, hang out at the uh, lake. Let me get those things, new batteries today, they're supposed to show up today, that's what my phone's telling me. Um, they were in Greenville yesterday, but they weren't delivered. Um, but yeah, I just want to try to teach you guys a little bit about how I book loads, how I do it. Uh, it's a little foggy out there. Just the um, four years I've been in here and the, what I've learned and what I've gone through with it, uh, it's about the time of day mostly. And if you have a position where you can wait, it really helps you. Um, if you're in different areas and, and you're running all over two weeks out, it's a little bit harder. But I have had, I've had days that I sat up in upstate New York in a parking lot of Walmart waiting for a good rate. And then a rate for 1200 to Massachusetts turned into 2800 and it's when they need to move, they'll they'll come to you. So that's what I try to preach that, but it's becoming harder. Definitely is becoming harder right now with a lot more trucks and not that much freight. So um, it's a timing thing. The brokers in the East Coast start at 8 a.m. Um, so I feel like for the West Coast or in the, the West, it might be a little harder because the brokers are shutting it down by the time you guys are getting to that crunch point. But I'm sure there's brokers out there that work later in the day. But for me, my experience um, being on the East Coast is a little bit easier because they start at 8 a.m., get out there, get the early load. They start putting loads on the board. And then by noon, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock yesterday is when I got that load. Just like, hey, what can you do this real quick? I'm like, sure. I'll run out there and go grab it last minute and run 60 miles and put another $500 on the bank account and be back home for Monday Night Football. Pretty good game last night. Um, Russell Wilson, I thought the Broncos would be a little bit better than that, but uh, it was a game. So, yeah, I'm Seahawks won and got their... I guess their answer on if they were okay without, um, what, uh, Russell Wilson, sorry, my mind's all over the place. These air purifier things that t has bought are really cool, but they're, uh, they're loud, so I had to, like, put it in this room, because if it was in that room, it was, like, drowning out the TV, so. All right, let's keep looking for loads and finish our coffee. Is it wet from the morning, dew? He said the green truck is getting rain. <laughs> Should we charge the battery? Good, good, good. Good morning, dude. We pull back over here. Yeah, it's got some some morning dew on it for sure. Uh, they had this load right here on the left. Uh, it's been up for about two weeks. And the biggest thing about it, it says drop trailer, but uh, I've been to this Lowe's before. It is a drop trailer. It takes about four hours for them to unload it. Uh, but it's not bad. It's not like a drop trailer for 48 hours, you know. So I offered this, and they came back with that. And then I offered this, but then they said the this. So, what's that? Yeah, thank you for closing the door. I'll charge those batteries for you, okay? Let's go back inside. So, um, yeah, that one, that just shows you if you uh, hold out and wait, you can get the 26. Would have been okay, but it's a 10 a.m. pickup, and it's almost yeah, 9. So, I would be late to that pickup. So, it's the extra hassle about that would have been, um, that's why I did 28. So, they'll probably just push it back till tomorrow. But they did come up, so just know your worth, stick to your guns, and 
you can get the right rates you need to go down to Florida. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, T-Dubs is off to the gym, and I'm going to get dressed for the day. We're going to rock this design today. It is available at JustTrucking.shop. Pretty true to size. It doesn't shrink when you um, wash it, so check out that. Check out our new hats. We have the white and red, which is one of my favorites right now. All black is classic, of course, with all those different ones, but I appreciate all you guys who have purchased whatever you've gotten there from JustTrucking.shop. It really helps the channel, and tell me about your cologne collection. What about little Versace blue jeans? Uh, this is pretty good. I actually thought it was... a perfume but t-dubs didn't like it it's pretty it's masculine and this is one of my favorites from cancun port royal really sweet and then this is t-dubs favorite cartier declaration um it's very piney but very like distinguished i guess you could say what it is but yeah rocking that shirt today check out just trucking.shop and let's get dressed all right it's a good start to the day let's get in this red truck then we're back at the truck. A lot of loads uh, just disappeared. Not much happening. So we'll hang out here till about two o'clock. Uh, just had some lunch. Nice chicken sandwich. And then um, if we get something by two, we'll probably head back towards the house. Can pick up the boys from school. But there's one load from, from uh, Duncan back down to Arcadia, south of, of Tampa. But uh, they're wanting to pay only two grand. That's just not enough money going all the way down there. So we will. I'm not probably going to start the truck right now. It ran yesterday, so there was another one of those same loads I ran yesterday to Samsung. Um, but uh, he, I think he booked it for 400. So if you're seeing those loads, guys. Don't don't take stuff like that for 400 if you can. And the guy that was shipping them was saying the guys were getting them for 600 all day. So try and get the 600 on that one. And um, yeah, we'll see if we get something. It is a nice day. Um, it says 90 on there. There's no way though. It feels. Feels nice out here. Um, probably the low 80s, uh, but a little breeze. So we'll hang out here, look for some loads, file some of our paperwork, some of our BOLs we need to. I always keep every BOL. I write the price of what I ran it for and who I ran it for and the miles I spend on each state um, to just have backup with my ELD. So if you're new to trucking, you have to keep track of uh, your, it's called IFTA, fuel tax. International fuel tax. Um, you have to keep track of how many miles you ran in every state because they all like dividend divvy up the uh, the amount of money you spent on fuel and how many miles you ran in each state, and then they divide that up with some formula to get all their fair share of the taxes. So that is why I just keep a double check record of that and yeah, let's look for see if we can get a load. Paperwork is filed, and a lot of you guys ask what ELD I use. It's Stone Ridge. Um, yeah, so. Lock that up, and we don't really need to even use our green APU right now because it's nice. So we crack the window, get a little breeze, and we will see what we get for a load. And that's going to be a wrap from the good old office back here. Um, beautiful day, but no good loads. They do stuff like this on the left right here where that load just popped up like two minutes ago, and I, just, I can't make it there on time. So I wouldn't be there past 3 o'clock, but they couldn't get it covered all day or someone fell off of it. Now it's available. I'm sure I would have took that for 24, 25, um, but I can't get there in time. And it, they want to deliver it at 6 a.m. So uh, it's getting to the point where I think they're starting to have to move things. Um, I guess there is a rail strike that might be coming. That might be very catastrophic for the whole shipping industry, but it, it will make more loads available for trucks. But at the same time, it's, I, don't, I don't think that's good for our economy or our country at all. But we got to do what we got to do. I guess they're trying to renegotiate their contract. I understand it, but as of right now, I probably could have took that load way earlier for $2,600, um, but it did have that drop trailer, and it did have me going on a bit of deadhead up to Shelby. So um, beautiful day, Tuesday, not the best day for booking loads. We did have a blessing of a load yesterday. I'll still keep looking at the boards, but spent my time in the office. Uh, now it's time to get back to these kids and go to, uh, probably go to the pool and enjoy this sunshine until it gets cold sooner or later. <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey, you guys have fun at school? Yeah? Hi, baby. I like your shorts. Did my, did my battery here? Uh, yeah, Mama's charging it. Um, let's open it up and see if they just reuse the box, huh? Or does it say, like, return to shipper? It doesn't say. Like... They never emailed you saying they got it? Yeah. They, they did? Said they, they, they said Can I was, open this? Was in, uh, um... Try. Go ahead. Okay. So if you guys don't know what this is, guys, this is... is this uh, yeah, does it say our address on the front? 
Uh, this is T Dub's like all in one that mop. That is for um, Casper's birthday. Okay, that's her little all in one Tinico mop thing. Open up. Open up. It's hot. Oh, it's what? Jason, we don't want to break it. We just got it back. Do that. Gentle, okay. Can you open the doors, Mom? Help Mom uh, get it in. Thank you for your patience. Uh, we, after we yeah. checked our system, we confirmed yeah. that ma the maintenance has been finished. Okay. So, Can you open that? the door for, okay, for Mom, please? It's hot out here. Let's get the pool, man. So we hit the office, guys. We tried today, and the loads weren't looking great. Uh, we probably had that one with a little drop trailer, but I thought we'd find something better. Oh, hello. It smells good in here. Are you cooking something? No. Oh, okay. Where is Big Boy? There he is. Just chilling like always, huh? I got two treasure Wow, you got a treasure box and you chose a mini globe? I'll kick your phone. You'll kick my phone. Let me see it. That's cool, dude. It's like a mini globe. That used to be mom's You want your hugs? Let me hold you. Okay. I'll hold you. What are you watching? Okay. You were crying about it yesterday. When am I getting my Tinico back? Uh, well, we'll see if a little pops up, guys, but we're going to try and hit the pool a little bit. So Betty Homework is back at it. She's super excited about that, but you know what she's more excited about? I'm not excited about it at all. The new battery showed up. Woo! Casey, push the red button. Let's see if we got power, dude. Uh, do we have power? Careful, dude. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Turn your lights on. How did you got? <laughs> no lights. Huh, have to figure that one out. Oh. <laughs> and they're back, babe. Oh yeah, T-Dub's gonna have fun with these. So this is one of our friends that comes to the pool. What grade is she in? She go to the same school? You know, I'm not 100% well, sure. Her. But uh, her name's Sof I, Sophia? Yeah, I think she just had her birthday too. She just turned Well, Cash is handing out invitations <laughs> for the Jump Jump birthday party. Oh yeah. Pump it up. Pump it up. And, kinda uh, bummed I didn't get that load. Um, I should've jumped on that one. $1,600 to Kissimmee, Florida. I did have a, a drop trailer at the good old uh, Lowe's. I've been there before, but I, my problem was I, I was at almost 9 a.m. and I had to go 67 miles to, to um, North Carolina. I still had to fire up the truck, so. Sucks I missed that one. That would have been a good $2,600. That would have been a great profit load, and uh, I snoozed on it, and maybe someone else got it. Maybe they're gonna move it again tomorrow, but that load was up for a week and a half on the board, so stick to your guns, know your worth, guys. You, hold, you can hold out, you can get twice as much on one load instead of working your truck twice as much. So we are going to... The pool. To relax and enjoy these last couple of uh, weeks. It, but it's hot, like right now my foot is burning on the concrete, but the pool is a little chilly. I will get in the water, buddy. I like those shades. Please, go and get in the water. <laughs> I will get in the water. But if you look right here, guys, you'll also see why I love Truck Smarter. They give you the better, um, not, not, not how a crow flies, miles like if you look right here you had truck smarters miles and truck smarters uh listing on that load for kiss me and then you have jb hunts right here and that is they took off what 50, 40 miles and um that's they don't have the exact same like drop trailer on there or nothing like that so i like how uh truck smarter does that for you it's one more great thing about that app check the description below all the usual stuff check out just trucking.shop and that same load, if you look right here, that I was bidding on all day today, get back down to Arcadia. They have it up again tomorrow with new appointment times. Um, 3 a.m. drop, which would be nice. I could just run straight through. So I put another offer on that one, and we'll see if we get it. But until then, God bless you guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.